because of the history of pottery and firing. It's the way in which that we're connected to our past, present, and future. That's the golden thread that makes it all like so amazing. It's like this is this is how we always you know fire. This is how as humans we you know first started to um, to make make markings, markers, and. Um, in ways to not just identify ourselves but to take care of ourselves so it's very poignant to me as we move into the next phase of our of our human history you know because we're going to have to change a lot of what we do it's a catenary arch kiln so that means that as it settles over time it should become stronger as you light this fire in the front here the heat is going to rise and mm -hmm. it's going to go back down and mm. through the flue. So as it rises and falls, you're using the heat twice, which allows the heat to stay in the kiln longer. And there should be a, an opening big enough to put wood into. And you don't want wood that's any longer than the firebox. Right beyond the firebox is the firing chamber. And all the way back to here are where your pots are going to sit. Mm. Well, we are using mostly kaiabi wood because we are here in the midst of a kaiabi forest. We harvested a whole lot of branches that are roughly um, a foot long and about as uh, big around as our arms. And the reason we did that was because we have a hole in the um, in the kiln, which is into the firebox and that firebox hole is not very big. Yeah, so we're making uh, an adobe-like mixture mm. and we're gonna use that to skin the outside of the kiln. We're gonna put a whole new skin on the kiln so that um, we can trap the heat inside. Loaded. So we've done a kiln wash on the shelves and on the stilt so that the ash glaze doesn't stick to them. Um, now getting things glazed the ash um, works as a glaze itself. Mm, right. And also the way that the fire and the air and the entire atmosphere like hits the pieces, it can just create these beautiful flashings. It's just like, that's the beauty, the miracle, the joy of a wood fire. So they're just little yeah. dishes and I'm using them for samples. I'm gonna try the different bumps, glazes so and, off, but I like them. and see how they turn oh, out. The like cannoli yeah, platter, okay. by the way. <laughs> Uh, Jackson Pollock. Yeah. And it's a surprise. You never know what you're gonna get. I love it. What are you doing? What's your plan here? I'm experimenting. <laughs> I've never wood fired before. So um I'm just going to try out all different glaze techniques and all the different glazes that Emilian brought. Well, I did with yellow salt, which is a glaze we use in high fire and in salt. It's a really versatile glaze, and I like it a lot, so it's see pretty. how it comes That's really out pretty. In, yeah. in wood fire. I found from the previous uh, firing and from the, um, from the soda firing and salt firing I've done that Things look best in, or in my opinion, they look interesting when there's a lot of slopes. Is where the falling ash can can get caught and can run down. Mm -hmm. So the ash gets caught on the pot, and then the, the subsequent heat melts it, and it kind of makes runny, drippy things. So that's the look I like. So that's what I'm going for. So I made most of my pieces with um, with some kind of curve to them. So I do things like that, which is called my critters. <laughs> What's your experience with wood fire? The only thing um, I experienced was uh, my friend Clayton Amimia on the Big Island has a wood fire kill. Mm. And we were there once, Joel helped him fire. Mm. Um, it's a different kind of kiln because it was uh, Anagama style which is, you know, um, Doug. It's a, a moon jar. Mm. And, I and then these are different styles of sake cups. 
Will you leave these unglazed except for the ash? Yeah. That's what I usually like to do. Yeah. And then um, these are tea bowls. These yeah, are with the wabi sabi aesthetic <laughs> for tea ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, I have different types. Yeah. Real clean, tight pots is super easy. Tweaking them is another story. producing smoke it means the stoking is starting to burn when that smoke stops that means it's in charcoal state and it's, it changes from charcoal to ash that's when it's at the highest heat that's when you want to make sure that you stoke again that's your signal for stoking I think I'm most excited about the production of biochar because ceramics is an industrial process and the fact that we can sequester carbon in the making of beautiful functional creations um, is really beautiful really important for the future of ceramics I think an important discovery in my learning so we're getting biochar from the ceramic kiln because it's a byproduct so coals fall through the grate at the bottom and then they're scraped out and put in a um, any kind of bin we just want to stop the oxygen to it and that stops it from the second burn which the second burn takes charcoal to ash um, so we can harness that that charcoal basically at that point and turn it into biochar we're gonna mix it together as best we can and uh, let it sit for about six weeks and that should be enough and it can go into the garden the foundation of biochar being we're sequestering carbon so we're actually taking the magic of what trees do and being able to harness it and expedite the process of carbon sequestering so there's plenty of things it's used for we use it in the garden it's got a high cation exchange capacity it holds a charge and it exchanges and wants to grab uh, nutrients and water really well so in the garden it's very nice to have that because it's housing microorganisms and it's grabbing nutrients and holding them for when the plants are ready to use them well we um we had excellent firing you know we started to ache started with a little gas to, to uh, ignite the, um, the wood and um then after the wood was firing we turned the gas off and we continued with just wood for the rest of the day and we went for uh, 12 hours and everything looked great. By looking inside, we could see that everything looked kind of shiny and that means that the glazes developed and it also means that a glaze developed on the pots that were not glazed at all. That's beautiful. Awesome. Good work, people. Good work. Good work. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, so 